Okay, I am given these two lines and I am asked to find the slope. So remember to find the slope if you get it in this form. And by that form, meaning solve for y, whatever value is on your x is the slope. So line 1, which is 6x plus 6y equals negative 8. I could subtract 6x from both sides because I'm trying to get y all by itself. So I get 6y equals negative 6x minus 8. And then I could divide both sides by 6. And be sure you are dividing every term. They're not asking me to find this, but just want to do it correctly. And so that would be what negative 1 x and then minus 8 over 6. So for line 2, I have 6y minus 6x equals 13. I could start by adding 6x to both sides. You probably are catching on that um, these values, the negative 6x and the positive 6x, but maybe not if you don't see it yet. 6x plus 13. I'm going to divide by 6 every term, so I get y equals 1x plus 13 over 6. So the slope here is negative 1, and the slope here is 1. Do you remember if they're negative reciprocals? So negative 1 could be written like that, right? Wouldn't the negative reciprocal be a positive 1? And when that happens, this says that is the rule that these two lines are perpendicular. So line one is perpendicular to line two. Now I have another one. There's a lot, lots of parts to this one, but I'm only doing a few parts. So looking here, they've already solved this. So m equals six and m equals six. Remember, when you have the same slopes, then line 5 would be parallel to line 6.